Well, there is a large number of cases where advanced imaging plays a role on a day-to-day -day basis, and 3D printing is now approaching that. For 3D printing to become more accessible and available in hospitals, we need really two things. We need expertise and tools to make that expertise help patient care. It's a non-trivial task to take a CT scan and make a model of the heart. And so you need a software package that can actually do that in a way that is manageable on a clinical basis. Because it's not an experiment that you take out side of your hospital and then tweak with it, then bring it back three days later. They're real clinical patients. And if we're going to do 3D printing on a large scale, it has to be within what we call our clinical workflow. And then you need the hardware. And so then you need a piece of equipment that's going to be able to do enough printing that it's useful for your group and not so much printing that it's going to occupy a very large space and not be usable by the people who are engaged in doing your activities. Radiologists are going to play a large role in 3D printing in hospitals, especially those models that are generated by CT and MR scans. And that's the vast majority of things that actually are 3D printed in the medical field. And right now, since the radiologists acquire those images and they manipulate those images, it's a natural extension for them to become involved in 3D printing. Wow.